we're all connected. So let's try our test again. Speedtest.net, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, 300 megs. today we're back with a throwback for me. Being a server administrator, I worked with these type of devices a lot. Special thanks to our friends over at Wavelink, who were nice enough to send us their Wi-Fi 6 USB adapter. So this USB adapter will take your non-wireless laptop or desktop and turn it into a Wi-Fi 6 connected device. Now, of course, that won't change the fact that possibly your motherboard or hard drives cannot keep up to Wi-Fi 6 speed, but it should still mean some faster transfers, hopefully faster internet speed for you being on Wi-Fi 6. So, of course, we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing of this, and I think I'll set this up on my daughter's gaming PC, which is a gaming computer that I built like five years ago at this point, but we'll try out our current one, show you some speed test results. Then we will try out this Wi-Fi 6 one. Since I do have a Wi-Fi 6E router, the Nest Wi-Fi Pro system, and we'll see how good this is. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's check out this Wavelink Wi-Fi 6 USB adapter. All right, now we have our Wavelink AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 USB adapter. As you can see, this has four antennas, dual band Wi-Fi 6 AX1800, five gigahertz at 1201 megabits per second, 2.4 gigahertz at up to 573 megabits per second, USB 3 extension cable, built-in driver, and a magnetic base. Nicely done. Just a USB Wi-Fi adapter for desktop PC on top. Wave link here on the side. Same on this side. Nothing on the bottom. And the back just mentions what's in the box as well as some of the features. So ultra fast Wi-Fi 6 up to 1800 megabits per second. Uh, the same dual band 1201 megabits for 5 gigahertz. 573 megabits for 2.4. Supports 802.11 AB, GN, AC, and AX standard. Built-in driver so no download is needed. The four 3 decibels and 10 to expand signal coverage, supports WPA, WPA2, WPA3 network security, and a USB 3 interface. Works with Windows 10 and 11. So let's open this on up and see what we're working with here. Uh, looks like a nice box that actually, yeah, top slides up. Look at that. Very cool. This is the adapter right here. Love that bottom base. Wow, that's like got some grip and magnetic. It's not like super, super strong magnetic, but just enough to be magnetic and sit on your desktop. Now these antennas do not move, so they are stationary. And uh, well, that's basically it for that part. And that's just plastic down here. We have the USB 3 cable. So a lot of you may have never seen this type of connector, but basically if you take this side off, that's a regular micro USB. And with this whole side here, this is a USB 3.0 cable. Now these were used uh, actually on the Note 3 or 4 and a few other devices. Like these were in between micro USB and USB-C, but they're very fast. This is a nice, strong, durable cable. So uh, that's nice. And then, uh, just a little quick start guide, and that's it for the box. So, of course, as I mentioned, I'm gonna hook this up to my daughter's gaming PC. I built this computer about five or six years ago, has a pretty decent graphics card, has a slightly older processor, but it's still really good. It's a good gaming desktop, and I think she might could benefit from some of these Wi-Fi 6 speeds that my Google Nest Pro router can put out. So I'm gonna get on her computer. I'll do a couple of speed tests to uh, show you transfer speeds and stuff on her current setup, and then we'll hook this up. We'll show you how easy it is to install, and we'll do those same test. We'll run a speed test. We'll transfer the same file and see what results we get with our Wavelink AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 USB adapter. So let's go do that now. All right, we're signing into our old gaming PC, which is this little proprietary box here on the side. Now that little device right there, 
in front of the pink cables is the wireless adapter that's currently installed. So we're gonna run some tests from here to see what kind of speeds we get before we put on our Wavelink Wi-Fi 6 adapter. So excuse the mess. This is my daughter's drawing table and everything else. So let's do an internet speed test first. And just for good measure, we'll do one on speedtest.net as well as one on fast.com. So let's see, what are we getting here? 160. All right, so 164 essentially, 163, and a little extra on our 30 meg upload. All right, 29 down, so that's pretty good. Let's check, let's check fast.com, and well, that's interesting. Not as high as I expected, but we'll see what we get here. Very interesting. Upload's still great, but this is giving me a real-time usage of 15 megabits per second. Huh, okay, well, there's our results on it's using a TP link. Doesn't actually say. We'll have to uh, find what this is when we remove it. So let's do a file transfer test. All right, so now we're gonna do a cross network test. So I have this Windows ISO file here that's almost four gigs. I'm gonna copy this and paste it onto my Smithplex servers everything folder that I just made, which this is going SSD to SSD. So let's see what kind of speeds we're able to get here. So currently we're getting three megs of wireless speed and it looks like it's gonna take a minute to complete this task. I don't see it, oh, we're almost hit four. So 22 minutes. So I am gonna let this complete. So we'll essentially come back here in 22 minutes once this file is done. I'll then remove the current Wi-Fi adapter that's in. Our little gaming PC here. We'll put in our Wavelink adapter and run speed test and see what kind of speeds we get doing this as well. One benefit will be this will actually be able to sit on top and it won't be hidden in the back. So that could make a difference. This thing's pretty dusty, but uh, Let's see. See you in about 22 minutes. So it didn't quite take 22 minutes, but now let's set this up. So this is the current one. We're just gonna pull it out. As you see, we've lost our network connection. No connection at all. And this was a TP-Link uh, AC1300. So this actually uh, should have been a little faster than it was. So let's see how new one does. There we go. Just plug the cable in, plug this into the back. We'll just nicely set it there nice little magnet i like it and let's make sure we're going to a usb3 port heard the computer make a noise there we go it's showing up that's our auto run we'll double click this we're going to say yes install there we go now we're ready to connect so let's get back on our wireless connect and in our password all right yes that was a really easy install process. So might have to reboot the computer, but we'll see. Nope, we're all connected. So let's try our test again. Speedtest.net, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, 300 megs compared to, I think it was 170 on the other one. That's, that's much of an improvement. The ping 36 milliseconds, that's gonna vary. And that always maxes out around 29 to 30. So speed test looks phenomenal. I'll say it even looks nice on top there, like the little blue flashing light. And I do think that it being up there, giving off better signal is probably one of those reasons. So there we go, 281 by 33. So let's do fast.com and see if we get more than 15, look at that. I don't know why we were only getting 15 megs on the other one, but uh, yeah, this is so far much of an improvement. Wow, let's come back once this is finished. 350 megs, 26 millisecond ping, and we're hitting 34 meg upload. So this is actually an improvement, I'm liking it. So back over here, I'm going to delete this file off of my C drive on my Plex server so we can do another copy. So this is the Plex server, everything, just like I did before. We'll copy this file and paste it on our Plex server, let it run through the wireless, through the network, from one SSD to another, and we are getting 10 megs. I mean, it's gonna jump all around as always, but look at that, nine minutes and 30 seconds versus before it was 22 minutes to move this exact same file from this exact same computer to the exact same computer. The only difference is this little device right here. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal difference. I like it. And there you have it. That's a look at this Wavelink Wi-Fi 6 adapter. Massive improvements, at least in my opinion, to go from moving a file at two and three megs a second to 10 megs a second is phenomenal. 
As you see, cut the time in half. Also much better internet speed compared to our other wireless adapter and uh, also just better placement all around considering this has that nice cable and everything else. I will say I did plug it into a blue USB 3 outlet so it's getting the maximum maximum speed that it can. At the end of the day when you have a Wi-Fi 6 adapter like this and a Wi-Fi 6 router system like I have it makes this completely completely worth it. Instant install all I had to do was double click click yes next next and done. The driver was installed I was able to connect to my Wi-Fi and it was up and running within a minute. So I think that'll do it. Two big thumbs up to the Wavelink AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 USB adapter. I'll of course have this exact product linked down below in my description if you'd like to buy one of these for your desktop or even laptop if you want. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.